Colorado bourbon has been getting big, but how does it measure up to Kentucky bourbon? Well, let's find out. Craft Colorado bourbon has been taking off over the last de decade, but how does it compare to Colorado bourbon? Well, there's only one way to find out. So that's what we're going to do today is compare Kentucky bourbon to Colorado bourbon. Now for Kentucky, the answer for me was obvious. Next to Blanton's, this may be the best known Kentucky bourbon there is, and that is Buffalo Trace, the 900 pound gorilla coming out of Kentucky. Now for Colorado bourbon, got to compare. So I had to choose what Colorado bourbon am I going to use to go up against Buffalo Trace? But I, in the end, I couldn't just pick one. So I went on three. I decided to choose three Colorado bourbons that I personally really like to go up against this Kentucky bourbon to see what happens. So for my three, I decided to go first for Law's Whiskey House and their Four Green Bourbon. Next, go for Distillery 291 and their Barrel Proof Bourbon. Really good. And then lastly, decided to go for Molly Brown Spirits and their Cask Strength Single Barrel Select. I think that'll work. So let's compare them and see what we got. First off for Buffalo Trace. Classic. It's a classic bourbon nose. Caramel. Baking spices. You can smell a little bit of the oakiness. Not very complex, but decent on the nose. That's good. Kind of what you expect from Kentucky. A good, well-rounded bourbon. Not too hot. That caramel. I get a lot of spices like cinnamon. Barrel spice, kind of on the sides of the tongue. It's good. Now to compare Laws in their four grain bourbon. It's sweeter, like a sweeter nose. Kind of more of the sweet, um, kind of granola, sweet honey. Some of those baking spices, not much, not as much of the barrel as impact as the Buffalo Trace. But delightful smelling nose though. It's going for that. You can taste more of that sweet granola, the cinnamon, there's a lot of cinnamon on the palate, kind of a pepper tobacco kind of taste there. Very much more grain forward. It's not a bad thing. It tastes very good. Now, Distillery 291 and their barrel proof. Whisk this around a little bit because this is a higher proof. So after coming off those two, kind of get those higher notes right off, kind of a, the wood, kind of piney, the aspen sort of taste to it, smell to it. I just taste some, I smell kind of a, kind of a green note, not green. Kind of a evergreen note. It really doesn't remind me of evergreen trees, like Colorado forest trees. Mm. Hot damn. There's the proof. I didn't smell too much on the nose, but woo, that one takes a hold of you. But I like it. It's spicy. It's got those caramel notes to it. Pepper. Like, I can only describe it as leather. Kind of a leather note. And it's thick, viscous, syrupy. Mmm, coats the whole palate. I like that. I like it. Now, Molly Brown Spirits and their single barrel select cask strength. This one is also higher proof, 125. 
This one also smells a little bit more grain forward. Also smells deep and rich too at the same time. Kind of that high sweetness. <clears throat> mm. You can taste the grain on it, not in a bad way, but it's it's darker, it's thick, and it's kind of kind of got a coffee note to it. Caramels there. This is like a it's almost espresso, um, kind of a pepperiness to it, but it's dark and inviting. Stock and mysterious. I like that one. I like Molly Brown. I like them all. So between the four of them, who is the winner? The fact is, it's not fair. It doesn't matter. And I'll tell you, all of these are different. They're all different mashups. I know it's a cop out, but go with me here. The they're all different mash bills. All of them are different proofs. They're all different, but that's where it's great. It's the fact is it isn't doesn't matter. The mash bills are different, the proofs are different. The fact is it's about you and what you like. You clicked into this video because you're interested in Colorado bourbon and you like Kentucky bourbon. Now, would I say, yo, this is better than that. Never buy this again. No, that's not what this is about. Are you going to stop buying this? If you like it, no, you're still going to buy it. The fact is, it's not about who is best. Taste is subjective. Are you going to stop buying these bottles? No. If you like Buffalo Trace, you're still going to have it on your bar. You probably always will. But does that turn either of these away from trying them? Absolutely not. All of them are worth a shot, worth a try. The fact is, you just you don't want to waste money. I respect that. I get that. But if you're in here because you're interested in Colorado bourbon, well, you're in the right place. The Colorado whiskey, that's what I love exploring. My personal opinion with all of these, Buffalo Trace is great. For me, it's kind of boring. I like Laws. It's good and delicious, but I do like the spiciness I get from 291 also. And Molly Brown comes in at a completely different angle. All three are bourbon, but they're all a little different. And that's the great part. There's more variety with Colorado than there is in Kentucky. You could talk about rye versus weeded. Okay, sure. But all of them in Kentucky taste closer to the mark than these do. All about, if you're curious about local whiskey, about local bourbon in Colorado, well, you know what? You're in the right place. You're in good company. So welcome. Now, I know I didn't really get a good solid review of any of these, but you know what? Here, if you really want a good, honest review, check out this review of 291. I don't think you'll be disappointed. You know what? I think you folks have a great night and I'll see you later. Cheers.